The Air Force has been working with XQ-58A models for many years, which made its first flight under the service's auspices in 2019. The very first XQ-58A aircraft of the Air Force is now displayed in a museum, which emphasizes attention to accessibility and short service life. The Valkyries currently at Eglin are primarily intended to support experiments with autonomous aircraft, AACs, which are associated with the Air Force's Skyborg project. Skyborg is focused on developing an AI-controlled computer brain, along with a set of other systems and technologies designed to facilitate the operation of drones and potentially piloted platforms with various degrees of autonomous functionality. The stealthy XQ-58A Valkyrie is an unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by Kratos Defense and Security Solutions. It is part of the Unmanned Combat Systems Development Program and represents a cutting-edge technological development in the field of combat aviation. The Valkyrie has a revolutionary design, combining elements of stealth technology and unmanned systems. It has small dimensions, making it difficult to detect by enemy radars. This allows the Valkyrie to carry out deep penetration missions into enemy territory without risking the life of a pilot. One of the key features of the Valkyrie is its ability to operate as an unmanned fishing apparatus, working in tandem with manned aircraft. It can perform various tasks, such as reconnaissance, striking ground and air targets, providing electronic warfare, and even acting as a stealth bomber. The Valkyrie is equipped with advanced communication systems and sensors which allow it to gather intelligence information and transmit it in real time to the base. This gives operators the ability to make informed decisions and adapt missions according to the changing battlefield situation. The Valkyrie represents a significant step in the development of unmanned systems and demonstrates how modern technologies can change the future of combat aviation. Its maneuverability, stealth capabilities, and versatility make it an effective tool for performing various military aviation tasks. We anticipate even greater achievements in the field of unmanned systems, and Valkyrie becomes a sign of the future of military aviation. Skyborg and AAX are part of the Air Force's new efforts to acquire advanced drones with a high degree of autonomy, designed to work in tandem with piloted platforms. The development of these Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA, is part of the service's larger next-generation air dominance, NGAD work, which also involves work on a stealthy sixth-generation crewed combat aircraft, sensors, network systems, battle management systems, weapons, advanced jet engines, and much more. The drone uses a rocket method of takeoff with a stationary ground launch system. The XQ-58A's complete independence from runways, is a design feature that is often overlooked. This could be a very useful attribute for using future variants or derivatives of Valkyrie to support actual combat operations. The Valkyrie, in its current form, already has a modular design and can be configured to perform a variety of different tasks, including strikes, electronic warfare, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, and communications relay. It has demonstrated the ability to launch small, unmanned aerial systems from an internal payload bay. The absence of a need for a runway to support Valkyrie operations immediately dramatically expands the areas from which Valkyries can launch and return. This could allow them to be located closer to where they need to fly, potentially reducing the amount of time it may take for them to get there, and increasing the time they can linger upon arrival. In many cases, for example, during a conflict in the Pacific, this could be critical to having them within range of relevant target areas. The XQ-58A is one of a range of unmanned and manned aircraft that have participated in Skyborg-related trials since 2021. This test fleet also includes Kratos's smaller UTAP-22 Mako. The UTAP-22 Mako is an unmanned aerial vehicle developed by UMS Skeldar. It is a lightweight, multi-purpose system capable of performing various tasks in both the military and civilian sectors. The Mako features a compact and ergonomic design that ensures high maneuverability and the ability to fly in conditions of limited space. It is equipped with a silent electric motor, making it ideal for covert operations and surveillance. Thanks to its multi-purpose capabilities, the Mako can perform a wide range of tasks. In the military sphere, it can be used for reconnaissance, surveillance, patrolling, logistics, and combat support. In the civilian sector, the MAKO can be used for search and rescue, monitoring natural resources, border patrol, traffic violation control, and other purposes. 
The Mako is equipped with advanced communication systems and sensors, including optical and infrared cameras, radars, and other sensors. This allows it to gather intelligence information, perform target indication, and provide operators with critical data in real time. One of the main advantages of the Mako is its ability for extended autonomous flight. It can stay in the air for extended periods, ensuring enduring persistence and mission effectiveness. The UTAP-22 Mako is an example of modern development in unmanned aerial vehicles. Its compactness, flexibility, and versatile capabilities make it a valuable asset in both military and civilian aviation. We can expect even greater advancements in the field of unmanned systems in the future, and the Mako represents the kind of innovations that could change the future of aviation. The MQ-20 Avenger, also known as the General Atomics Avenger, is an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. It is a strategic, multi-purpose drone capable of carrying out reconnaissance and strike missions. The MQ-20 Avenger represents modern UAV technology, possessing high capabilities for carrying out a variety of tasks. It is designed for use in military operations, where its high autonomy, flight range, and ability to carry out reconnaissance and strikes make it a valuable asset on the battlefield. The MQ-20 Avenger can perform various tasks of both military and civilian nature. The MQ-20 Avenger is equipped with advanced intelligence systems, including optical and infrared cameras, radars, and other sensors. It is capable of conducting long-distance reconnaissance and surveillance in real time, providing valuable information about enemy objects, terrain, and situations. The MQ-20 Avenger can perform target designation and strike missions. It can be equipped with guided missiles or bombs and used to strike ground targets, including military facilities and terrorist groups. It can also carry out patrol missions, border or object protection. It can stay airborne for an extended period, ensuring a constant presence and monitoring of a specific area. The tasks that the MQ-20 Avenger can perform depend on specific requirements and settings, as well as the weapons and sensors installed on it. Its multi-purpose capabilities make it a flexible and effective tool for various operations and missions. The Vista X-62A became the first tactical aircraft fully controlled by artificial intelligence for over 17 hours during a test flight from Edwards Air Base in California. One of the unfortunate problems with modern combat aircraft is how much time it takes for their development. The legendary World War II Supermarine Spitfire was put into service in just three years, whereas the modern F-35 Lightning II took 20 years. With the development of artificial intelligence, engineers now have a tool that can solve these problems. Developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Research Center in collaboration with Calspan Corporation, the Variable In-Flight Simulation Test Aircraft, VISTA, with artificial intelligence is used at the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School at Edwards to simulate the flight characteristics of different aircraft. It is also capable of operating autonomously. The Vista X-62A is a modified F-16 D Block 30 Peace Marble II aircraft, equipped with Block 40 avionics. Initially designated as NF-16D, it was declared a U.S. national asset and renamed X-62A in June 2021. While the Vista X-62A may look like a brightly painted F-16, it conceals some advanced capabilities under its aluminum alloy skin. The main one is the Vista Simulation System, VSS, developed by Calspan as well as the Model Following Algorithm, MFA, and the Simulation Autonomy Control System, SACS, by Lockheed Martin. According to Lockheed, the Vista X-62, a not only has enhanced capabilities, but it can also make rapid software changes for rapid prototyping to speed up development, as well as increase the number of test flights. Currently, the Vista X-62A is undergoing checks, after which it will resume flight. The director of the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School, Dr. M. Christopher Cotting, noted, Vista will allow us to parallel the development and testing of advanced artificial intelligence technologies with new unmanned aircraft designs. This approach, coupled with targeted testing of new transport systems as they are produced, will quickly advance the autonomy of unmanned platforms and will enable us to provide tactically relevant capabilities to our fighter pilots. Drones that are independent of runways fit well into the EABO Force Design 2030 concept. The U.S. Marine Corps is also exploring new ideas on how to operate in expeditionary and distributed contexts, 
including a concept known as Expeditionary Advanced Base Operations EABO. EABO envisions that relatively small but diverse marine forces will be able to quickly deploy, establish advanced operational bases, and then move just as easily as needed. The main idea is that this gives marine commanders greater flexibility, helping to control coastal areas and surrounding maritime spaces, and making it harder for adversaries to effectively respond to these movements. In general, we can definitely expect to see more examples of Air Force tests and now Marine Corps tests involving XQ-58A, UTAP-22, Mako MQ-20 Avenger, Vista X-62A, emphasizing the design's independence from runways, various research and developments, as well as for testing and evaluation. We appreciate you watching to the end. Subscribe to our channel and see you next time.